Hey everyone, my name is Royce and I'm a second year MD PhD student at Penn. So, I have some news to share. You probably saw the thumbnail and think you know what the video is about. But I have to confess, unlike most thumbnails on YouTube which are completely honest and not clickbait at all, mine stretches the truth just a teensy bit. I actually don't have three arms. I know, it might be complete chalk because I put in my thumbnail. In actuality, I pretended I had three arms in order to get more clicks on this video. So, sorry about that. And in other news, I also failed my first medical school final. This will be my first and last fail in medical school. This is the first fail I've had in the 1.5 years of preclinical courses we've had at Penn. And this will be the last one because it was the last exam possible. So here's the full story. We are just chilling in small group one weekday morning and we got the email pulmonary team exam dot 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 and I just stopped reading right there because I knew we, you know, passed the test and I just marked the emails red like I do with most of my emails. And I went back to my typical morning ritual of watching NBA recap videos on YouTube. Uh, shout out to Chris Move. But then someone in my learning team was like, hey guys, did you see the email we just got? And they seemed really excited and emotional. Um, so I knew exactly what they were talking about. And I responded by saying, oh yeah, you're also interested in that free food event that's happening this Thursday? But alas, they were talking actually about the pulmonary team exam and we actually ended up failing it. And my first thought was, oh my goodness, here we go. This will be a great clickbait video idea. And my second thought was, of course, I was sad about us failing the team exam. And uh, here we are. So funny story, I actually had to go back and read the syllabus after the unit was done. And uh, that's because I usually don't read the syllabi. I mean, why would you? It's not like you get money or anything. So this is how it works at Penn. Half of your grade comes from the individual exam. This is, you know, the classical exam that you take uh, by yourself, closed notes, multiple choice. And the other half of your grade comes from your team exam. Uh, it's still closed note, but you can work with your learning team. And in order to pass a given course, you have to get a 75% for both the individual and the team exams. And you always pass the team exam. So when people are studying for their exams, they're actually just studying for the individual portion. And that's because that's the only one where you risk failing. And I always knew I was on an exceptional learning team because we were probably the first learning team to fail all year. Uh, and it's funny because we each passed our individual exams. So it's not like we didn't know the content. It's just, I guess, we have negative synergy when working together. But you know, on a real note, all jokes aside, I really I really love my learning team. Uh, they're, they're great people, they're super smart, and I think that day was just a bad day for us. You know, reflecting back on the exam, we could look at our answers after the fact. Um, it looked like we narrowed down the multiple choice portion down to two options, including the correct one. And so we just missed the 50-50 uh, multiple times. And that was just highly unfortunate. But you know, if we were given 100 pulmonary team exams, we definitely would pass 99 of them. I'm pretty certain about that. Um, so this was just a bad day for us. I mean, we missed multiple 50-50 guesses. And so a lot had to go wrong for us in order to get a 71%, which was just barely failing. And at Penn, if you fail an exam, you have to do remediation. You don't get a single marking on your transcript for the failed exam. So it's like there is no consequences at all and I'll probably not learn from this mistake. Really the only downside of failing a final at Penn Medicine, you know, besides like crippling shame, is inconvenience because you have to make the time to remediate the exam in person. And unfortunately for us, because it was the last exam of the year, we had to remediate right before break started. This was literally the last day of preclinical classes, um, a day where you're supposed to celebrate. So as other people were celebrating, we had to unfortunately make up our team exam, which took about 30 minutes. And then afterward, we could go, you know, take pictures and hang out with people. And the remediation was basically just us answering the questions that we got wrong. And then there were additional questions, making sure that we understood why those answers were correct. So we reviewed the topics that we missed. We knew exactly what would be on the test. It was very straightforward. And I don't think Penn Medicine was trying to pull any tricks on us to make us fail. They really just wanted us to understand why we failed, and to move on and learn from the mistakes. So uh, that's basically it for this story. Hope you guys are having a great time with family and friends. That's so important during this time of year. Really take it easy. I'll catch you guys later.